I know you've been acting since you were four or five years old, haven't you? But this is your first big feature film in the lead role. Now, what I want to ask you is, so this is a horror movie, but you'd never actually seen any horror films before this, had you? Not at all. No, I literally had never watched a horror film. Couldn't even make it through The Sixth Sense without crying. Um, so when I got it, Paul gave me five DVDs of, of pretty much the, the worst, like the scariest horror movies around. And over Christmas, me and my family sat and watched them. And um, stuff like Martyrs and Frontiers and really brilliantly made films but obviously really scary and I've become quite addicted to it I really like scary films now but um, working on one was incredible getting to kind of see how it's all done the prosthetics and the blood and yeah it was really brilliant So do you feel it's been worth having that horror education? Oh completely yeah really 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 great So what kind of films are you looking out for next in your horror lineup? Um, gosh I'm not sure I'm, I'm seeing a couple here at Pride Fest I'm seeing VHS The Possession and Tower Block You have no lines in a film as you play a young deaf mute girl don't you? Um but obviously that doesn't mean that the part's easy because you have to communicate lots without speech. How did you find that? Um, it was a challenge. What I kind of, a tactic I came up with was if Angel could speak, I'd have the line that she would be saying in my head and so that way it would kind of come across on my face. But um, me and Paul sat down every morning and worked out kind of where Angel's emotional state was every in every scene that we were going to be shooting. So that was really helpful. Was it ever difficult not to react when there were noises on set when you were acting? All the time. I think it, it became Paul's catch phase of Rosie you're deaf you can't hear that and because obviously no matter what you do you can't actually kind of become deaf so it, it did take a lot of focus and uh, especially when there's like loud bangs coming around and yeah so. and you learnt sign language well you already knew some sign language didn't you because you worked with deaf kids before yeah I've, I've worked with um, deaf kids and I kind of seen how they react to stuff and so I knew I knew a little bit of sign language but the sign language we do in the film is a different kind of sign language and so I got to work with a really amazing person who taught me how to do all the sign language. So how did you find that? Really good, it was really useful and unfortunately I can only remember about one sentence out of the entire film, I can only remember one sentence but yeah at the time it was really really great and I think Dominique who plays Vanya is way better at it than me but I had fun doing it. You guys are really as well as emotionally demanding role, really physically demanding role isn't it? How do you cope with something like that? Um, it was difficult. I have lots of scars on my legs from the from the stunts, but it was brilliant. I love doing all my own. I did pretty much all my own stunts apart from one, and um, so that was really great. And I think every night I just would go home and kind of sleep a lot, and then get up and do it. But it was the best experience of my life. So it's been pretty intense, wasn't it? I mean, what were the best stunts or the scariest stunts that you had to do? Um, scary. The fight. There's a massive fight scene, which was interesting because it was a lot of choreography to remember, and that was really good. But the funnest was I fall off uh, out of a window. And so I was on a harness and I get to drop about 20 feet and yeah, that was really cool. And didn't you get thrown into a pit full of maggots or oh, something? Yes, a pit full of dead bodies and um, maggots face first. And Paul, the director, he has a saying that he would never make one of his actors do something that he wouldn't do except maggots. Paul's terrified of maggots. And so he made, but he made me fall face first into maggots. But actually they're fine, they're, they're fine. So it was really good. Tell me about building a rapport with Kevin who plays your capture in the film. Was that a kind of easy thing to do? Yeah, Kevin's such an awesome guy. And we um, sat down and talked about our relationship before we started filming. And so yeah, we every, before we shot every scene we were doing, we'd have like a little rehearsal and work out what each of our characters were doing. And yeah, so it was really easy. And filming on location as well, what was that like? Because you're an old RAF base, weren't you, outside London? We were actually in, they built, the, they had the seasoning house, and so there are times where it did actually feel like like I was kind of living in this very amazingly built, dark, dingy place, but um, incredible set, and it was such a team effort on this film, and so everybody became like a family, so when it was over, it was really sad to go back to school. Talking about family, your family's here tonight, aren't they, to see the film for the first time? Yeah, I hope they like it, and they don't, they haven't seen any of it, so fingers crossed that they like it. And what's next for you, Rosie? Um, I've just finished three months filming in Manchester a new ITV series called Homefront, which is on ITV1 this autumn.